All right, guys, so basically, this is the first time I'm gonna do this, kayaking. Uh, I'm extremely scared of deep water that I cannot freaking stand on. This is a personal message that I'm sending out. If you guys are seeing this on the YouTube channel, that means I survived. But uh, if you guys don't see this and you see this on in the news, I got eaten alive. Guys, I'm extremely scared of this. Thank God I paid somebody to paddle for me. <laughs> I am so scared of this, of open ocean. I know this is not open, right? This is not considered open, right? But I am terrified. I have anxiety. I'm not paddling, as you guys can see. I'm not gonna show you lower than this because the anaconda speaking. But I like the scenery, man. It's pretty, hey. Hey, you're moving the boat too much. You're, you're moving the boat too much. Oh, man. Yeah, hey, look at this. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Like, I'm glad I cannot see inside the water because I don't know, I don't want to know what's under me. And of course, I thought it wasn't going to be sunny and now the sun came out, right? It's been a nice day. Finally, guys, the sun came out. I'm sorry I cannot look at you. Eric didn't want to come with us. Eric was too busy. He needed a pad. He had his uh, monthly thing. <laughs> and uh, show him the scenery, man. How nice this is. For people that have, have never gone kayaking. I'm not going to lie. This feels like you're in the damn Amazon. Am I, not, am I right? Yes, it does. It feels like you're in the Amazon. The only thing is, I, I'm with somebody that's completely useless. I might kick you on the head. Put that part in the vlog. All right. I don't like when the water is calm like this. Look, you can't see a damn thing, bro. This is so scary. Like, you really don't know what's like under you. I've watched so many YouTube videos where sharks or orcas are messing with people in kayaks. There's no orcas here. I know there's no orcas, but I have an anaconda on site. Right here. Alright. Man. I just got out the gym. Uh, did some shoulders. Did some cardio. I've had all kinds of injuries. But especially... I have bicep tendonitis. If you guys don't know what bicep tendonitis is, it's like right here. Let me see if I can hold this for you guys. Um, so right here, you got... Ah, damn, son. You got a tendon that goes right here. It's a little bit swollen. And it's, I've been like that for the past three months. So the biggest mistake that I did, I stopped working out. And um, so I've been doing therapy for that. And basically what they do in therapy, they have you work out. You know, they make you do exercises. So obviously what you need to do for any injury, well, it depends how bad the injury is. Some injuries you really need to stop the gym completely, right? But some injuries like this one, which is a minor injury, you need to do lightweight and rebuild the strength on the arm uh, so that this can go away so I would say I haven't been at the gym in a long time uh, first of all remember you guys I had COVID so I stopped the gym for a month but prior to COVID I took a month and a half almost two months break because of this injury right so now that I'm back I'm doing like pretty much extreme lightweight right so things like for example uh, chess uh, like bench press I used to do uh, let's say I used to do 245s 245 plates on each side now I'm doing literally 25 plates on each side okay and I have to do like a lot of warm-up it's not that easy man you like as you get older and it's not that easy your body remember your body was not meant to be lifting weights 
and I've been lifting weights for a long ass time I've been lifting weights since I was like 16 years old so it's pretty much my body got enough like the tendons the you know they got enough your joints they get enough of all this freaking heavy lifting you know all right so basically guys I'm at this place that they make crepes and uh, so finally the other day I started uh, I tried Nutella crepe strawberry banana for the first time uh, about a week ago and I fell in love with it so now um, I'm at this place that has badass crepes and I was deciding be between the sweet or the salty so I'm like you know what I need me some protein man so I ordered one that they're gonna put all kinds of stuff in there they're gonna put eggs steak uh, all kinds of stuff man this place is awesome look at that look at that look at that yeah, they're cooking my eggs right there I just told them no bacon and I love bacon guys but it's too fattening man you don't want to clog your arteries you know what I mean yeah there we go got my two eggs they're gonna put it right there oh man I can't wait you already know I got my Perrier come on don't play with me <laughs> oh I just got off the movie guys it was really good the way they relate all of them together and the horror movie genre I think this is compared to like Marvel I'm filming my mouth the whole time I didn't even realize that the scariest one was to me the first movie and the and Annabelle 2 so out of all of them the you know if you guys ever seen all of those movies the conjurings the Annabelle's the nun they're all related right they're all together so to me the scariest one was conjuring one and Annabelle two man I probably watched let's say the movie was two hours I probably watched 10 minutes of that movie because the entire time I had my hands and my and my face my I watched these movies at my house you know what I hate about these things man every time uh, I uh, after I watch these movies, especially obviously I watch them at night, when I get out, man, I start feeling super weird. Like I feel, like I don't feel normal, you know? I feel like, it's not that I'm scared, but I feel like paranoid. Like right now I'm driving, right? Just look around. I'm already imagining like, let's say somebody's in that damn shadow over there just standing looking at me, you know? It's, it's like, it makes you paranoid, but me I, at least, you know? Oh man, what a day. Tomorrow, I'm actually gonna link up with Eric. We're going to the beach. Y'all stay up, leave me some comments. I'm gonna keep bringing you guys those vlogs. Do me one favor, hit that like button. That's what helps us a lot on the channel. Much love. Peace.